Hey, what's up guys? So, so you're welcome back to another video. Today we have a pretty special video. We're going to be doing an unboxing of the starter deck. So you already saw the box, obviously for 7C's TCG, and uh, you, are, you, you guys already saw the box, so you know what it looks like. But now we get to see what it's going to look like when there's actually stuff in it. I know, pretty crazy, right? Um, and we have something new, so you can look forward to that, um, which is going to be the coins that uh, come with this. Um, and let me know, guys, if you want to see a tutorial. I'll be happy to do a tutorial on how to make these coins. I think they came out pretty nice, and uh, I would be happy to show you guys how to make them. So first up, we got uh, a brawl going on over here, and I'm uh, going to try and leave it in progress there. Um, so yeah, if you guys haven't seen how to make this deck box, you guys can go check it out. Um, I did make a video on it, and this is just what it looks like. And I'll just go over it again. Command your own naval fleet to claim your part of the seven seas. And it includes one 26 card deck and one seven C CCG coin, which we're going to be looking at today. And that's what it looks like. So this is the first voyage. That's the set name. And let's just open it up. So what the 26 cards is, is it your three ship pieces as in like the ones that go on the game board those cards and then all right i'm trying not to spoil anything um and then you get the three statistic cards that go with each ship and then you have your 10 crew members and your 10 action cards so first up for this starter deck we have the steel dragon and you know what? if i actually sell these or whatever i don't know if, what my plans are but if i ever distribute these it would be pretty cool to just randomize everything. Because I think that would be pretty fun. But obviously you need to stick to the guidelines like Galleon, Frigate, and um, and a Schooner. But like we can mix it up from there. So see how many I get in the set. And then we can go from there. So we have Steel Dragon. And then the Steel Dragon statistic card. Leaky Bucket. If you guys haven't seen these cards, go check out. I think these were in the 600 subscriber special, or at least some of them were. You can go see the, my other videos and what I'm trying to say if you want to look up at the details of these cards, unless you just want to pause the video. Oh, look, factory error, man. Got to not paying my factory my factory employees enough. Putting the cards in the wrong way. Um, Rusty Spoon. That's our schooner. And... Um, now I can flip it over and make my life a little bit easier. So first up for our crew members, we have First Mate Frank, Sappy, Dicer, Krabby Chris, Mitch the Witch, Pete the Parakeet, Totally Not a Pirate, Fishy Jim, Old Timer, Bobby, and uh, those are our crew members. So that's 10 crew members. And let's see what the ratio was for here. So it looks like we had um, three twos. I like to call them level ones because they're the lowest costing crew members. Um, two fours. So two level threes. Oh, actually, three. Three fours. So, th so three level threes because they're the highest. They're the third highest costing card and then you got four threes and i think that's a pretty good um i thought that was dirt <laughs> or something i think that's a pretty good ratio so you got um three three four three i think that's yeah yeah that equals 10 well i can math um that's a pretty good ratio because you don't want to have too many twos and you don't want to have too many fours because then you'll have to save up a ton to be able to place them, or you just won't have any good people. All right, so for our action cards, we got Grape Shot, Looking Glass, Reinforced Hull, Journey to the Tavern, Sirens, Nails and Boards, Feathered Friends, Treasure Map, and North Winds, and Chain Shot. I just want to take a moment to point out how beautiful this, uh, this card came out. I'm not a very good perspectiver, so when I do pull some some good perspectives off, it makes me feel happy. Um, and now to the the feature presentation, we have the coin. So 
Um, this is so I was like, okay, I have to make a coin for this because I wrote it on the box because I'm wicked smart. I wrote it on the box before actually doing it. Remember, guys, that's my motto: is you gotta you gotta say you're gonna do it and then realize, crap, I have to do that. So. <laughs> I was making coins, and I decided, okay, well, I'm not just going to make one, because then that's waste of paper when I need to remake, like, uh, print more out. So I made three. And so this is the front of this one. It says seven C's, and then soaps on the back. And then uh, this is number two, seven C's, it's close up for me, and soaps. And then the next one is seven C's TCG, and then soaps on the back so um it's a little bit different things and this is um pretty thick so it does flip i got uh tails but i yeah you guys can decide what's <laughs> head and tails at this point i was thinking faces and then soaps and uh this would be name and then soaps so yeah so that's those are what the coins look like um if you guys want me to show you how to make them i mean you can't feel the texture but it's pretty thick like the cards are a lot more flimsy than these are. Like, these don't even bend, pretty much. They just, yeah. They're pretty thick, if you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah. That's exactly how I like my coins. Um, so, there you go. So, those are the those are, those are the coins. And this has been the Starter Deck unboxing. And I actually did. You guys should be proud of me. This is only deck box number four I made this today, and this is the best one that I made so far. And it stays together completely good. It's completely fat, completely flat. Wow, I'm fat shaming my box. Sorry, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, it doesn't like wobble or anything because I can't glue. It's 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 perfect. So we got a box. We got cards. That's going to be what the starter decks are going to look like if I ever come out with them or do anything with them. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, just if you want to see coins, I got coins. But before uh, I end this video today, guys, I do want to shout out someone here. Um, you guys can go check out his channel if you like. I mean, I'm not asking you to. But this is something that I want to stress uh, some things going on with the TCG community, and I like, this is very important to me, so this is kind of my livelihood right now as a teenager with no job and going to school, is that um, this is what I put a lot of time into, so this is very important to me, is when you shout someone out, I'm and I, this is going for this guy as well, is that I'm shouting him out because I want him to get pe people that might like his content. He's a TCG creator, so if you like mine, you most likely like his. Um, so we got it's kind of easy that way. But I don't want you to go over there and subscribe, and then never watch his videos, and or go on your three different accounts that you made just because I said shout out and subscribe to him, and then not watch any of his videos. Because what's the point in that? Um, I don't. It's not cookie clicker. It's not about seeing a number go up on a screen. It's about um, finding things that you guys enjoy and letting the people know that make it, that they like it, <laughs> that you like it, I should say. Um, so if you do check this guy out, if you don't like his content, don't subscribe to him. And then obviously don't watch his videos if you don't like him. Don't leave nasty comments or anything. But, you know, be smart about it. Just if you if you like what you see, you can subscribe. It's it's common sense, but um, sadly, pe you have, people have to say, say this. So, um... I'm going to shout out Chris from, hopefully I don't butcher this, Mind Flayer Games, and he makes a TCG called Heroes of Vengfi. So go check him out. He makes some good video videos. I know I enjoy his videos, and he has some good tips on there as well. So I'm just going to repeat that. Chris from Mind Flayer Games. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.